do a lot for us. For the kids. You sacrifice a lot. Is there anything you wouldn't do for the people here? No. Carol. Did you kill Karen and David? Yes. Yeah, spoiler alert indeed, by the way. Pivotal moment last night's Walking Dead on AMC. Rick, one of the good guys, there he is asking Carol if she killed a fellow survivor, survivors. Uh, fact is, she says yes, and there's more background to that. Let's bring back friend of the program, John Murray, editor-in-chief, alwaysalist.com. He's up to date on all things pop culture, including this show. You're a big fan, aren't you, John? Mike Mike, you watch occasionally, but let me tell you, Mike, you don't have to watch regularly. All you got to do is get on social media. I was at a Howard University homecoming weekend event, but I couldn't get off my timeline. I was keeping up with all the primetime <laughs> TV updates. It's the new way to watch television. You don't even have to pay for cable, Mike, only to watch HLN. But if you don't want to get <laughs> premium cable, social media will keep you updated on all the dramas. Isn't that something? And how is it different now? Let's hit on that, then we'll get back to the show. Um, I mean, everybody used to talk in the years gone by of Dallas and Dynasty and all of those, but it seems like it's real time now, isn't it? Mike, As let me it's tell going you. And it, with the social media. Before it was on the phone, now it's this. At, when I, growing up as a kid, my mom would get on the phone and be like, Peggy, girl, did you watch Dallas? Did you see Knott's <laughs> Landing? Did you see <laughs> Diane Devereaux on Dynasty? Like, that, that was the fallout. Now people go, OMG, they just killed them. <laughs> oh, my God, they're dead. Another prime character gone. So people on the West Coast, if you're not watching real time, you get the whole show spoiled, you know, because social media will ruin a show uh, for everybody else if you're not watching it. Yeah, you better believe it. Are the zombies going to take over at the end of the... I mean, it seems like they're becoming more and more prevalent. They're, yeah. they're behind the what we thought was kind of a guarded area there. For all the Mike, let me tell you, left. Mike, this show is a gift to Hollywood because everybody keeps dropping dead. They're killing people <laughs> off like flies, which means that everybody in Hollywood potentially has a job if the show stays on because if they keep killing off principal characters, they have to keep introducing new ones. That means everybody send your resume over to the network. You can work on this show if they keep killing the characters off. You better believe it. Hey, another big event last night, uh, Nene Leak's wedding. Let's show a little bit. How huge is she? Give, give our viewers a sense. How huge is she when it comes to reality stars? I mean, she is making a million dollars a season now on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. This is a woman who was once a stripper. So that shows you how huge she is. That's a long way from tips on a stripper pole to a million dollars a season. So we applaud Didi. We call this going legit. They spent $1.8 million on this wedding, Mike. $50,000 on her gown alone. Everybody from reality television was there. Her cast from I The Real agree. Housewives of Atlanta, Candy and Phaedra. You had Amarosa there. You had Star Jones' ex-husband Al Reynolds as a groomsman. You had the guy from Sunday Best, the gospel show, singing at the wedding, Kim Burrell. You name it, they were all there, Mike. What makes her special? Obviously, she's got the smile. The, the big personality, and now the nice story. She remarries the ex and the whole bit. But what's that little it's something that makes her who she well, is? The fans have both loved her and hated her. She was the fan favorite when this show launched. All of a sudden, she bought a $30,000 Birkin bag, bag, you know, one of them expensive purses, and the people turned on her, and then she became likable again. But Bravo saw something in her, and they've invested in her. Now, it took them three shots to try to get a spinoff on Nene. They've done some other ones that didn't necessarily go, but they actually took her real life this time, just getting back with Greg and renewing the vows, and it actually became the most endearing way to show Nene. People like her, they want to see her win, and she's translated in a major way in Hollywood. Got it. Hey, we got breaking news, John. We've got uh, zombified pictures, I think, of myself. So let's, hence, there it is. There I am. I, uh, you mentioned they're going to need new characters. I guess that's my quasi audition for the show. What do you think? Scary Mike, enough for you? Mike, you're like that girl who did the viral video about quitting her job. You're auditioning <laughs> for The Walking Dead, Mike. Hollywood, take note.
Mike needs to be on the next episode of there The Walking go. Dead. Oh, it's trending, right? All yes. right, and we have John as well. Let's see it. John, here you are. Zombified. That John? Oh, that guy is still handsome, though, Mike. Look at him. <laughs> Even with those bruises and those cuts and those gashes. You got the snaggle teeth a little, working? A, a little makeup from the HLN makeup <laughs> department. I'm back to normal, Mike. All right, good stuff. Hey, speaking of Halloween, John's going to stick around here. We've got the top, the most popular costumes coming your way. Again, if you don't have one yet, you better hurry up. And we've got some ideas for you. Uh, uh, again, popular shows. He's Mr. Pop Culture. We've got it. And, and it goes beyond this, uh, the cowboy fair. Uh, let's just say that. Welcome back to HLN News Now. All right, time's running out. Here it is Monday. Halloween's coming up Thursday. If you don't have that uh, great costume, we've got some ideas for you. We're going to unveil the top three and back with us. Always A-list.com. John Murray's really the chief and the guru of all things pop culture. <laughs> Aren't you, huh? All right, let's get to it here with number three. And no big surprise, and you and I have even talked about it. The twerking episode. Miley Cyrus, Robin Thicke from the VNA, VMAs, and there's the uh, the costume right there. So go out and get it. You you knew this was coming, right, John? Oh, absolutely. After the VMAs, I mean, how many? We did like 455 topics on this mic. <laughs> so clearly, everybody was going to go out and get this for Halloween. All right, make it 456. And by the way, <laughs> we've got to show you the video. You just saw the picture. I was in, man. I, I could not help myself. So I donned the outfit. Uh, one of our producers, Hana, playing the role of Miley. We kept it clean, by the way. <laughs> Feast your eyes on this, buddy boy. Oh, yeah, I like that, Mike. I, oh, you're you dancing just like Robin. <laughs> we, <laughs> come on, I've served this on a silver platter for you. What do you think? We got to get you a black wife who's like off to the side looking at um, somebody <laughs> grope you with a big oversized hand. It would have been perfect, Mike. But look, Mike, if you ever want to leave the anchor desk and go in the studio, you might have the chops, too. I think you can sing. Oh, man. I'm you're getting me in trouble. I'm, I'm auditioning. For Walking Dead, I've, I've got the dance moves going. Oh, brother. And then let's stay with this, by the way. You can see other people. Got to get your take. Joan Rivers working the Miley Cyrus ensemble. I think we have that picture. Uh, Shannon, let's take a look at that. There she is, Joan Rivers, <laughs> ready to twerk. John, what do you think? I love Joan Rivers. She could do no wrong in my book. I got to meet her a few years ago, and I know people give her a hard time for her plastic surgery, but she's actually very beautiful in person. Yeah, and very funny, too. So, so get it Amazingly going. Amazingly funny. Hey, one other one. Hugh Hefner, Crystal Harris. They have the Robin Thicke Miley Ensemble. There you go. Uh, we even have a dog. This is part of a PetSmart <laughs> photo contest. You got to check this out, John. It's a dachshund on a wrecking ball. Give me your thoughts on that. You know, look, Miley Cyrus has completely oversaturated pop culture. Anytime you're dressing your dog up as an inspiration from her music video, you know that this girl has made a great impact. Yeah, she's winning. I don't care. She, she's even making cameos on Saturday Night Live. I'm watching that going, she hosted the previous week, and here she is again. She's all over the place. All right. She's, she's ratings go, Mike. Ratings go. She, she sure has been. All right. That's number three. Popular con uh, costume number two, Duck Dynasty. And we slapped it on. You better believe it. I had the uh, beard and everything working. There's the generic shot. Do we have the shot of the uh, News Now team, guys? Let's take a look at that. And uh, th th there we go. John, what do you? this show popular as ever, right? Record Everybody ratings? Everybody loves this show. I actually was talking to uh, Michelle Williams, formerly of Destiny's Child, and she was ranting and raving about how she loves Duck's Dynasty. Everywhere I go, people are in love with this show and they're watching. I feel like I'm missing out on something. Either I'm going to grow my beard out or I'm going to have to get a, a TiVo season pass. All right, last one. Here it is. Number one. Can you guess it What before I unveil it, what the offshoot is here? Hmm. Could it be The Walking Dead? Close. Breaking Bad. Oh! You got the hazmat suit working. There's the generic. And look, John, they even have the sexified version. You see that? That's, I, you, you've got to love the sexified version. <laughs> hazmat suit. I slapped it on. Hey, we had all of them in our offices here, so there I am in the hazmat suit. Breaking Bad. Uh, Mike, what, Mike, what are you, you going to be for Halloween? Mike, you had full costume day. I'm going to rent me a Bentley. I'm going to get a big load of cash and a mistress. And I'm going to be one of the guys from the Preachers of L.A. on Oxygen. Sweet. Hey, John, great work as always. By the way, our thanks to Spirit Halloween for providing the costumes. And as John said, for, for basically setting the table so we could have costume day at work. We were stealing <laughs> money that day, and I think a little bit as well. John, great stuff as always. Thanks All so right, much. Mike. All right, much more news now coming up. Keep it right here.